next we have the definition of grounded comma solidly or solidly grounded. It's critical that you understand that when it comes to grounding stuff, we ground metal parts and we ground systems. And they're two completely different things. Uh, your house is a grounded system. That's a fact. I don't care if you don't have any equipment grounding conductors in your house. I don't care if you have a plastic water pipe, no ground rods, no uh, concrete encased electrodes. You still have a grounded system because the utility gave you a grounded system whether you like it or not. So a grounded system is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about grounded parts. We're talking about grounding a system. So. A solidly grounded system is a system that's connected to the earth without a resistor or an impedance device. Um, easily, 99% of all electrical installations in the United States, at least that are a thousand volts and less, are solidly grounded systems. All right, so here we've got our transformer. You really can't see the fact that it's solidly grounded because solidly grounded does not include the metal parts of the transformer. It can it includes the windings of the transformer. Okay, so you've got the primary winding and you have the secondary winding. Primary, of course, induces a voltage and a current onto the secondary, and that's the secondary system. We ground the windings themselves to create a solidly grounded system. So if you have a utility supplied system, the utility almost certainly will have given you a solidly grounded system. So they gave you three wires, right? Two for, for this particular system, maybe for your house. You've got a single phase, 120, 240 volt split phase system. So you've got two ungrounded conductors, maybe call them black and red if you'd like. And then you have a white conductor, which we know is what? The grounded conductor, which we can also call the neutral if you'd like. That neutral is connected to the XL point, the center point of the phase, and to ensure that the system is solidly grounded, we take a conductor out of it and we run it down to the earth. That's what makes it a solidly grounded system. And that's why you could go to your house and rip out your ground rod and cut out every equipment grounding conductor at your house and it would still be a solidly grounded system. It wouldn't be safe, <laughs> but it would still be a solidly grounded system because the utility gave you a solidly grounded system. So the utility does the system grounding unless you are actually installing a system if you're installing a new voltage system which would be what like a transformer or perhaps a generator then you the electrician you're going to have to create the system grounding and the system grounding is when i take xo to the earth ultimately right to the building steel or the concrete encased electrode a conductive body that extends the earth connection so that's grounding the system. And we talk about solidly grounded, we're talking about system grounding, not the grounding of metal components. Let's look at a few examples here. I've got my 120, 240 volt single phase system like you probably have at your house. And it is a solidly grounded system, right? I go from the transformer, middle point of the phase, ground the system. If I have a three phase, four wire, Y connected system, Usually, those are grounded systems. So I'm going to go from the XL point, and I'm going to connect it down to the earth, creating what? A solidly grounded system. Same thing if I have a high leg delta. I'm going to pick a phase at the center of it. I'm going to connect that phase to the earth. That's going to create what? Solidly grounded system. Or if I have a corner grounded system. Pick one corner of the delta, connect it to the earth, that gives you what? A solidly grounded system. It would not include an ungrounded system, right? This is an ungrounded system because only the metal parts are connected to the earth. And I'm showing a connection between the windings and the dirt, but it's done through capacitance, right? There's not a real connection between the system and the earth. Now, I still connect all the metal parts to the earth, but that's not system grounding, right? That's grounding metal parts. Take a look at 250.4 A1 and A2. 
compare them to 250.4 A3, 4, and 5. And you'll see the difference between system grounding and grounding metal objects. So this is an ungrounded system. It's not a solidly grounded system. Now I mentioned solidly grounded means that it's connected to the earth without a resistor or impedance device. Okay, well, what does that mean? I mean, if you connect it to the earth with a wire, a wire has resistance, a wire has impedance. True, but we're talking about an actual resistor, okay? So if I have what we would call an impedance grounded system, we actually add a resistor in the system bonding jumper to connect it down to the earth. So this would be an example of an impedance grounded system. That is a grounded system. Let me ask you, is this connected to the earth? Yes, it is a grounded system. It's not a solidly grounded system, right? Because a solidly grounded system means that you did not connect a resistor or impedance device in that connection. So solidly grounded includes quite literally 99% and, and really even higher, 99.9% .9 of the installations that we deal with are solidly grounded. Uh, if we have an impedance grounded system like the one shown here, we're probably at a supervised industri industrial facility. If we have an ungrounded system, we're also probably at a supervised industrial location or somebody screwed up, one or the other. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.